welcome, 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 boys and girls, ladies and the gentlemen. So, today, it's about what's coming soon. We're 22, yes. I'm going to hand you over to her to read it out for me. Right, this is a Pentacoli, which is a fertiliser. It holds 750 litres and it, you buy it for 1,400. Um, this is an AP Sotop, which is a liquid fertiliser. It holds 6,000 litres and it's sold for 9,600. Um, and then you've got a Corn Cali, which is solid fertiliser, big bag which holds a thousand litres and sells for 1,820 Right, it's very good because obviously this is all three of them are new for Giants so it's nice to see them in and you know they look quite good quality pictures I'm hoping we can just pick them up and put them around um, I'm liking what we can see through the windows that looks quite cool and uh, over to the next one Right, you have the Fent 900 Ferrier, which is a tractor. It is sold for 280,000, um, 218kW, um, which is 296 horsepower. It holds 625 litres of fuel. It weighs 11.5 tonne. It is a variable CVT and it does 60 khp which is 37 miles per hour right yeah so there we go so it's not a new one to the fleet um obviously we've seen now before um but what i will say it is the new shape okay so yes we've had it in 19 as a mod but look at the front, so we've got a nice front on it, a bit like the uh, 1050 uh, I think it is. So we've got that new front, that's good. The tyres look real good. I mean, I would like to say they're almost, you know, how we want them. <laughs> the ground texture looks better. Um, looking over in the distance, sort of over the, over the bonnet, I mean, look what you can see. And right, you have the fader stayed. Rapid A800S. It's a cedar. Um, 177kW, which is 240hp. It weighs 7.7 ton. Um, it does 18kph, which is 11 miles per hour. It is sold for 159,500. Uh, holds 3100 litres and it does 8 metres yes so there we go um, so it's an 8 metre width so that's quite a size really um, you know for that sort of thing um, and the crops it does as you can see are down in the bottom corner um, right as far as the machine I don't know if it's an up to date version or you know of that or if it's just one we've had in the game it looks very similar to the one we've already had in the game before but we haven't forward to seeing it anyway i mean there might be a few modifications to it um what was the bit i saw uh, speed of it wasn't it was it speed it run it 11 miles an hour i mean that is quite a speed so and as you can see by the man i've got to point him out i mean the miss goss come off it do you remember that game? Oh, I can't remember what it was called. There was a game. And he looks a spitting image. Just waiting for his brother to turn up. Anyway, I'll hand it over to the next one. Right, now you have the Class Tryon 750 to 720 Harvester. Where it does 270 kW, which is 367 HP. It holds 800 litres of fuel, it holds 
10,500 litres. It sells for 357,000. It's a variable CVT. It does 30 kph, which is 18 miles per hour, and it weighs 16.9 tonne. As you can see, you know, it's a green and white one. Yes. Right, you've got a class Convio Reflex 1080, which is a header. It weighs 2.8 ton. It does 10 kph, which is 6 miles per hour. It is sold for 63,500. It uh, has a width of 10.8 meters. And as you can see by the photos, we have wheels on the header. So obviously that's going to be dragged behind. And hopefully the trailer days have gone. <laughs> I mean, we're going to get them in two or three hours. And I mean, even if, you know, the wheels are there, sometimes, you know, you see farmers and, and they use the trailer. And they put it on there, even if they've got the wheels. Because obviously the trailer, a long distance is right so now we've got a mac superliner which is a truck it does 368 kw which is 500 hp it holds 400 liters of fuel it weighs 8.8 .8 ton it sold for 110,000 it's a manual and the speed it does is 80 kph which is 49 miles per hour right as you say as you can see this is like the one we've been waiting for I think, back in the day mac you know we've had them we just haven't been brave enough to stick the logo on obviously now we've got the rights so bring it all one eh? because there's more to mac than just that one truck the speed i was a little bit worried about the speed 48 49 miles an hour i mean in england i think our speed limit's 55 i believe so it would be nice to get up if it is american maybe the american um speed limits are you know lower and that's the reason for the giants to do what they've done but as you can see real clean mod lovely Right, over to you. Right, we've got a Convi All, which is a CST 1550. It's an Ulgo wagon. Um, it holds 43.8. What that is? M. 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 M3. It is a bit confusing, I must admit. It sells for 114,000. It weighs 11.5 ton. What? Yeah, I didn't understand it either. I won't worry about it. One thing, I think it's the load. Maybe this is what I mean. I don't know, it's still new. So I'd imagine it's how much so the bigger figure is how much the wagon weighs and the other one is how much it weighs with the stuffing or maybe one's loaded and one's like the low one is how much it weighs empty and then maybe the bigger one 
is when it's fully loaded and that's how much it weighs. I don't know, we're going to have to play that one out in the game as and when it comes. But as you can see, it does quite a good lot of crops. Um, we've not seen this brand before. So again, is this all we're going to get or is there going to be more of it? Um, they do make a lot more. I have looked on their website and they do make a lot of stuff. So, you know, things could be looking up for this man. It's a new one. It's quite a short trailer. But it, it seems to carry a lot. And this could be quite good. You know, just to leave it out in the field. You know? You know, you can fill it up. And then when we come along with the tractor, we just take it away and tip it. It's, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. Can't wait for more of this. And finally, before I leave today, I want to say a big thank you to the technical team for being brave and, uh, you know, doing what she's done. Um, and I want to say a big thank you for Giants for bringing all this out and uh, can't wait for the game. <laughs>